Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a first look at Lies of P. Uh, this is a game that released earlier this week, I think Tuesday, and it's like Saturday now. Uh, which I don't know a whole lot about yet, uh, but I'm pretty hyped for it. Uh, this is a Soulspawn uh, from... I don't remember... A company called NeoWiz, I think they're in like an indie company, but this is a pretty high budget game from what I've seen, it's very polished. Um, and basically the title, Lies of P, it's referring to the fact that your character is Pinocchio, uh, and you've got to lie a lot and stuff like that. But also it's a Soulsborne. <laughs> it sounds pretty cool. Uh, I've also heard that this game is really hard. Like, harder than Bloodborne. Hard. So, we'll see how we go. <laughs> I'm just going to be using this for Pro Controller. It could work with everything. I didn't do any configuration, so this is just automatically working. Uh, I might need to ma ma shuffle the buttons around because you want like dodge roll on the on the rightmost one and use item on the left in Soulsborns, but we'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, it's like it, it's it's a new take on the uh, fairy story of Pinocchio, where you're Pinocchio, you are a hot twink. Uh, and you're living in sort of like a Bioshock-looking kind of setting, uh, where the, like, the puppets invented by Geppetto are ravaging town, and everyone's terrified of him and hates him, and basically he's the gear maker. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna dive in and see how this goes. Uh, on HDR on? I can't turn HDR on, so I guess I don't want it on. Uh, let me just make sure... Yeah, I moved my laptop upstairs. I'm just gonna put it off. All good, all good. Uh, yeah, it won't let me turn on HDR. I don't know if that's gonna be relevant, but uh, yeah, that seems to be fine. You can see on from some of these images that it looks very Bioshocky. You've got that big fancy golden statue with words on it there. <laughs> Famously, the only thing that makes a game Bioshock. <laughs> um. Auto save, yeah. Uh, I am playing on Steam. I think it's available on some other platforms, but this is the Steam version and it is up to date. Uh, button. Uh, gotta have a really long license agreement every time you start the game in a source when It's an important part of the game. <laughs> okay, let's look at our controls here. Uh, HUD on or off, blood on or off, motion blur on or off. Guide. Uh, yeah, I prob all of that looks fine. Um, camera position, camera shake. Hmm. I have this problem with every game that has a camera, basically. Uh, it says inverted and inverted horizontal, inverted vertical, but it doesn't indicate which direction is normal. So I might want this on and I might not. Uh, and I can't tell until I'm in the game, because I can't tell how it works. <laughs> uh, you can also play with a mouse. Some people do play Soulsborns with a mouse and keyboard. I don't think I would enjoy that. Uh, we're running in borderless full, in borderless full screen. Uh, I'm just gonna trust this stuff is fine. Uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Okay, here we are, controller. Uh, button settings. Okay, so you want the dash dodge button to be this one. Uh, press well dash in to jump forward. Yeah, just use the same button. Uh, interact with this one. Normal attack with that, that, lock on with that, guard with that. Fable arts. Why? You know, it should be X. Legion arm. Okay, so I'm guessing that's kind of like, um, prosthetics in Sekiro. In the controls, a belt item goes there. Upper belt, lower belt, weapon, arm. Okay, so I've just toggled these around a little bit, uh, which should fit with the kind of controller I'm actually using because the face buttons are in a different arrangement. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, cool, let's start the game and see what happens. Uh, we've got lore showing up on the loading screen. Um, under my face it says now lying rather than now loading, uh, which is pretty sick. 
in honor of the great writer Carlo Collodi. I assume that's the like original author of Pinocchio. Can you hear me? My volume up a little bit. Got a little butterfly. Or moth. Or a moth. Puppet. We need your help. Oh, it's the blue fairy. Oh, the blue fairy, of course. Alright. Okay, so we're taking the camera. Yeah, this feels right. You push up to look up, you push down to look down, and you push left to look left. Yeah, sometimes it inverted means the opposite thing. Uh, and I can walk around very slowly. I assume that'll speed up once I've gotten into a little bit into the game. Uh, you can see I am, uh, pretty cute. <laughs> oh, look at those freckles. <laughs> okay, uh, I seem to have a prosthetic arm. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. So, they may have taken some inspiration from Sekiro, where you also have a prosthetic arm. Can I go faster than this? Doesn't look like it. Uh, B to interact, yep. I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. Sophia? My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Okay. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Use belt. Select upper belt, select lower belt, use a selected belt item. Equip items and gestures on the belt to use. Oh, okay. You have, um, like the pouch in Elden Ring. You can hold down a button and it, like, lets you use all the D-pad directions to interact with different items. Cool. Monad's lamp. Do not be afraid if you get lost in the fog. The cricket guide will be with you. Okay, so I probably want to equip that. Uh, okay, so you can toggle between, like, a top item and a bottom item, and then when you have an item, one of those selected, you can cycle. Okay, and that's, like, a standard lamp thing that you can get. Okay. That was a weird way of saying it, but basically there's an item, uh, which exists in Bloodborne and exists in Elden Ring, which you use and you just wear a lantern on your belt like this. Uh, I assume it's in some of the other games too, but I have it in those two. <laughs> Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. It might turn off the motion blur, maybe. I don't tend to love motion blur, especially when I'm moving the camera around a lot. Oh, yep, it's it's a Soulsborn. I'm moving around with the menu open. <laughs> no pausing here. Uh, let me see. Motion blur was in here. No? Was it in gameplay? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that feels better. Okay. Alright, the status, manage bat items you own, pulse cell. Okay, so pulse cells are Estus. Uh, I think? Hang on. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. Attack items while the cell is discharged. Oh, but it charges up when you attack, like Hollow Knight. Okay. Okay. Weapons? But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. Oh, is this picking a starting weapon? On your way to the hotel. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have Path of the Cricket, which is Balance. Path of the Bastard, which is Dexterity. And Path of the Sweeper, Strength. Okay, so we get to pick a starting build, basically. Uh, let me see. Uh, I feel like probably it's probably safest to go with Balance to start with. Uh, my build in, in Dark Souls 1 is mostly like a strengths build, I'm using it as Y-Hander, but uh, building Bloodborne is less like that. Uh, I might just go with Balanced and see how I do. Uh, you can see it's got fairly standard um, Soulsborne-y stats here. We've got Vitality and Vigor and uh, Technique and stuff like that, HP, Stamina. Uh, we appear to have Equip Clothes in this game, you don't have that in Bloodborne. Uh, we'll go with balance. Okay, as soon as is my normal walking speed now. Uh, okay, so I can attack. I do have stamina in this game, unlike Sekiro. Uh, you have heavy attacks and also charge attacks if you hold the button. Uh, like a lot of these games, yep. 
I believe weapon durability is quite important in this game. You can see I have an item that lets me, like, repair my weapon in my inventory here. Uh, I think you need to repair mid-battle or something like that. Not kind of like finding space to heal in other games. Uh, I can block. Uh, and I can punch with my arm. Oh, I see. That reduces my arm's, like... That durability, or I don't know. Uh, well, it wasn't refilled when I tried to repair my durability, so I don't know how you fix that. Um, it might be like a way to get like a flask of uh, FP or something like that that I haven't got yet. How do I get out of this train, by the way? <laughs> the doors don't seem to be open. Um, maybe if I just backtrack, I can do something with my weapon that I now have. Yeah, we can roll. Can we backstep? We can backstep. Feels good. Uh... How do I get off the train? <laughs> it feels like that should be really obvious, but I'm not seeing it. Is there an opening over here? Oh, that, that's a door. Can I open this one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go play the game. <laughs> that was a cool noise. Um... Fine. Uh, yeah, lock-on works like every other one of these games. You just click a fly and... Oh, it's a cop! Oh, it's a robot cop! Aim? Sawtooth wheel? Don't know what that does, but I assume it's gonna be useful. Maybe it's like upgrade equipment or something? Ow. Oh, interesting. They seem to have, like, a grey health. Uh, and then you hit him again to drain it further. It's a bit like Poison Sekiro, or closer really to Wounds in Vinesia. Uh, another sort of wheel. I assume it's gonna be, like, an upgrade material of some kind. Not beating the Bloodborne allegations. <laughs> Maximum repulse cell uses as increased. Okay. And yeah, you recover HP. I assume it's Estus. I assume it works like Estus. Uh, except that it recharges as you attack enemies, which is not a thing, Estus. A backstab? Maybe if I timed it better. Okay. Dim Ergo Fragment. I assume Ergo is souls? Uh, and a Dim Fragment, I'm guessing, is like... A soul you can consume to get... Yeah, obtain Urko plus 100. I figured. <laughs> oh, the wheel's a throwing object. Oh, okay. Okay, so they're like pebbles. And you can just chuck them at stuff. Fine. Last resort. Eyes upon use. Oh, okay. So that's um the dark sign. Okay, okay. Everything just has slightly different terms, but it's, it's the same essential mechanics by the looks of things. I can switch weapons, by the way. But I only have the one weapon, so it doesn't do anything if I switch weapons. <laughs> just pressing right should switch weapons, but it's not doing anything. Uh, can, I, can I have a secondary weapon? Oh, I see how it works. Okay. I, I thought the gold thing was like a separate weapon, but it's not. It's the handle of the blade I'm using. I'm guessing you can swap those out separately in some way. Uh, amulets, I'm guessing, are rings. And defense parts? Oh, cool, because I'm a robot. I have, like, robot shit. Uh, possibly that will be, like, an outfit of some kind. Oh, hello. Yes, there are outfits in this game. Everyday attire. They might just be cosmetic. It doesn't throw any stats there, so I suppose we'll see. Uh, the station employee has the train station keys. Fine. Well, I can't just leave. I have to find the keys. Okay. Oh, look, I'm covered in, like, oil because I'm fighting robots. Interesting. 
Okay. So, they're, they're taking a cue from Bloodborne there. You get absolutely covered in blood all over your clothes when you're fighting stuff in Bloodborne. But because I'm fighting robots, it's not blood. I like that. Uh, oh, my keyboard went to sleep, I think. Oh, I think I still played it in Bluetooth mode. It's plugged into the computer, but it's not set to uh, cable mode, so it's still connecting over Bluetooth. <laughs> uh, no biggie. Uh, let me see here. Can I not go through here? It seems like I'm supposed to. But it, like, zaps me when I try? Hmm. What am I missing? There's something up here that I didn't notice. Oh, I can go this way. But this is where I need to go. Guard, you can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is successful, the character will take reduced damage, but it will consume stamina. The re reduced stamina damage we transfer to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates, but gradually decreases over time. While you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. Oh! Oh, so this game has rallying. Uh, that's a blood war mechanic. When you take damage, uh, you can attack in response, and it will heal back some of the damage you took. The guard succeeds right before being hit. It triggers a perfect guard. That's a parry. Will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guards to enemy's weapon off with him in staggerable status. Okay. So, I can block, uh, which will allow me to rally rather than uh, lose all my health. And I can also parry if I do it just right. I have no idea what the timing is. Oh yeah, I can see my health is filling back up. Neat. Uh, I might have a little sippy of electricity. There we go. Because I'm, you know, a robot. My S just flask is electricity. I'm definitely getting Bioshock vibes from the setting design here. It's cool. Uh, backstabs are a thing in this game. Okay. It's called a fatal attack, but it's it's a backstab. <laughs> These guys are really slow. I'm having trouble parrying them because they're so slow. Like, I'm just doing it way too early. Passengers note. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to clear it, see clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet mashing people to death in there. I'm guessing that's the first boss, and it'll have the keys. That's usually how these games work. Uh, yeah, I can dash, and then I can press it again to jump. Oh, I see. It shows if you're in the right spot for a backstab by showing those little slashes and you, on the side of your character. That's that's cool. Not on your character, on the opponent you can backstab. I like that. Uh, a bit more demo go. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, I haven't seen any, um... Whatchamacallit? Uh, any bonfires yet, so I don't really know how I checkpoint. You may only be able to replenish estrus by hurting stuff. I'm guessing that's what the blue bar is for. Unlock these doors are going to let you break. Oh, this is that door that was locked on the other side. I remember. Okay, so does not open from this side is indicated by having the door electrocute you in this game. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Lie or die. Uh, slash increasing and striking. Yeah, that makes sense. Still learning the game here, obviously. Uh, I'm back. 
I assume I dropped my echoes. Yeah. Sorry, um, ago. <laughs> my blood echoes. My souls. My runes. My, uh, whatever you want to call them in the game. My Geo, if you're playing Hollow Knight. Looks like it shows up how much you've lost in the HUD there. You can see underneath the 94 is like a little box with 564 in it. Um, which is nice. Um, gives you an idea of what it is you're going to be losing if you do die again. Do we have like a jump attack? I haven't seen one. And the regular input for a jump attack, like from Dark Souls, doesn't give you a jump attack, so... It might be something else. Killed through here. Ah, there's my blood stain. Oh, it's look like little butterflies flying around it. That's cute. Lost ergo recovered. This blade fable arts. X or X while guarding for handle fable arts. They watch the fable slots and different fable arts with different number of slots. Charge fable slots by attacking enemy weapons. Okay. What the Fable Art actually does. Ow. <laughs> yeah, this is my typical experience with the new Soulsborne. You've got to learn how to play it first. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yep, we respawn. Here we go. I don't think there's like a permanent penalty on death. I don't seem to be like hollowing or anything. And my health bar isn't shrinking, so that's good. Uh, some of these games do punish you more than others when you die. Uh, Dark Souls 2, for example, when you die, it gives a little penalty to your maximum health each time. There's an item that cures it, but, like, you can get up to, like, half health gone. Uh, if you just keep dying and you don't have enough of that item to fix it. Which can be a bit inconvenient. Catalyst. Oh, I see. The handle fable light uses one one dot of uh, whatever it's called, fable juice. <laughs> uh, but the sword one needs all three, I think, maybe. Okay, let's talk to this guy again. Hello! The animation for uh, healing really reminds me of Bloodborne more than anything else. That's what it looks like when you use a blood vial. I mean, kinda. You actually like, jab it into your leg, but the pose is similar. Rather than taking a sip, you know. Not sure how to fight this guy properly. I'm getting the impression that like Sekiro style timing is important. Oh, okay. like a pretty significant spike in enemy difficulty meeting this one guy compared to the other guys. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm still like beating everything on the way and I'm still picking up my uh, blood stain every time so it's not a huge loss. I'm just learning. Which is fine. 
game's also really pretty, by the way. Yeah, these guys stagger really easily, or at least get stunned out of their attack animation. I don't think it's technically staggering. This game's got a special thing for staggering. Having their posture broken, I guess? I don't know if posture's the name of the stat in this game. It is really cool that killing stuff like covers you in oil because they're all robots. I'm really looking how, loving how that looks. Uh, okay. Hello again, annoyingly strong robot. I'm guessing this guy has the key. This is probably like the guy I need to beat. Get out of here. Cool. And you can do like a visceral. Yeah, he has the key, I thought so. <laughs> uh, I think I got some new equipment. Yeah, uh, that ups my... Let's see... The weight is a little higher, but the physical damage is much better, so I think that's probably worth it. I'm not sure if my roll is worse. Hang on. And that's about the same. It's worth it. And I don't have any other pieces yet. Okay. I don't know if my weapon does less damage when the bar is smaller. It might. Ah, uh, let's go to the train station. Ah, uh, yes, the classic door opening animations. Oh, that looks cool. I am enjoying this aesthetic. <laughs> Had the stargazer? Oh, is this is this a bonfire? I think it's a bonfire. Use a stargazer for fully recovering HP and stamina, as well as charging your pulse cell. You arrived at this point in case of death. You also arrived. Yeah, it's it's a bonfire. This is called a stargazer, a marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But gather ergo, that the stargazer's strength doesn't. I can use it to level up. Yeah, let's do it. Um, let's see. Uh, how much does a level up cost? Uh, I can get a couple. Um, yeah, I'll increase my health. Uh, what's big? Uh, that's stamina. Acidity. Oh, legion. What's legion? I get an explanation of what these these mean somehow. I think Legion is my um, aesthetic arm abilities or something like that. Often in these games, you can press a button and it'll let you get tooltips on what all the things on the screen are, but I don't think this one does that. I'm not seeing a way to do that. Hmm. Okay. Put a point into Vitality. We'll put a point into. Let's advance. That's also Legion. Technique. Buff my physical attack. Hmm. We can afford a number of levels here, so uh, let's try to even things out like this. Uh, and that's what we can afford. Uh, let's do that. Level up. Pardon? 
And storage, I assume, is just... Do I have a limited space? And I, I think it probably works like Bloodborne or like the later Dark Souls is where you can carry a certain amount and anything else goes into like an infinitely big storage. I'm guessing that's how it works anyway. Okay. Well, that's a bonfire. It's called a Stargazer. It looks pretty cool. I'm guessing when I have more than one, I'll be able to walk between them, but that might not be the case. Ah! Fucking dogs. Every one of these games, they have dogs, and the dogs just mess you up. There's a belt item with fire. Oh, it looks like you only start filling up Estus when you've used all of your Estus. Interesting. Is that a candlestick? Interesting weapon. Boop. Oh, maybe it starts filling up as soon as you've used one. I'm not sure. I'll work it out. Um, something I can pick up over there. I probably want it. Probably just another blob of a girl or something. Nope, Fable Catalyst. Uh, crack Times? This, the Crack Grand Exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens of the Puppet Frenzy, has recently paralyzed cities under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, causing hundreds of casualties. Laws are still unknown, the num number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Venig Ven Venigni? Venigni? Company? Workshop and Venigni Company, Krat's largest public factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens with everything they could to alleviate the situation. A task force investigating for a possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. Although there is no quick solution as of now with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of petrification disease, citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat's central station. And sponge of chaos. Okay. Fine. Everything's kind of taking shape. Uh, I will hit the Stargazer again. I'll put it back there. Boop. Thank you, Stargazer. Also rally, they have the partial health bar thing I do. Uh, so I would assume they get like healed gradually if they attack back at me. In much the same way. I believe that that also works in Bloodborne, but maybe not with bosses. I'm not sure. Oh, got dealt with. Vivid Ergo Fragment. I think that's worth more than a dim one. Backstab. Backstab. Charge attack. Follow up. Real. Real. Uh, gates are closed by the looks of things. Can't go that way. I thought it was for a ladder, but it was a lamppost. <laughs> The jump is weirdly wimpy, like, jumping usually isn't a big deal in a Souls form, but it usually goes a little bit slower than that, feels a bit, uh, like you have a bit more hang time, if that makes sense. Mm, oil, gross gross, can I open this? Nope. 
Doesn't want me from this side. <laughs> nice try, Jack. More game to go. Give me a little bit of a Sekiro vibe with some how some of this works, like having the prosthetic arm and the way you block like this, uh, and the fact that you can perfect parry and it seems to be quite useful to do so. Uh, also, Bloodborne vibes with stuff like rallying, and the stats feel like conventional Dark Souls, and the aesthetic is still feeling like Bioshock, so there's a lot of fun stuff going on here. <laughs> Give it a go, Fragment. Good stuff, good stuff. more behind there, but I didn't think I can get back there. Fire. Fury attack. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack called a fury attack. You can't dodge or guard fury attacks, but you can counter with a perfect guard. Okay, you can't dodge them? Okay. Probably should have healed sooner so that it would start recharging my Estus while I was fighting, but uh, that did not come to mind <laughs> until after I was done fighting. <laughs> ah! I, I knocked against the wall and it stopped me from hitting them again. Thermite. Oh, you don't have a head. What happened to your head? Catalyst. Dog. Come here, dog. You've seen me. I think maybe it only starts recharging once it's completely discharged. Catalyst. Give me that. Urgent repair tool. Interesting. I guess it's faster than using the grinder or something? Yeah, the grind is kind of slow. Oh god, more headless people. Shortcut from the other side, there we go. A powerful parade puppet is blocking the entrance. And that's the only way in. No parade puppet. So please be careful. Is this just for like practicing? I mean it actually hurt me. I think it's just for practicing, for like staggering and stuff. I 
Maybe it can hurt me. I don't know. Oh, another one of these. Excellent. Dial gazer activated. We'll have a couple more, couple more levels. Uh, bigger capacity do? Legion and Wade. Yeah. Um, I want to try to get my stats a bit more balanced. So, like that should do. Are you a friend? Can I talk to you? Hello there. Welcome to Krat, visitor. I can. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight. Oh, stalkers are hunters. <laughs> here? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs. You ought to buy something while you're at. Can I buy something from you? Alone? Purchase. Fable catalyst. Rapidly charges fable. Oh, that's what that's for. Okay. Growing cell. Uh, so that's that's like a lightning herb. Electric blitz abrasive. Oh, so that's um, that's a resin. I can buy my sword. I can buy probably these are the other two starting weapons that I didn't buy. I assume this thing is here to help me practice. Doesn't seem like it does a whole lot on its own. Um, is this just a locked door I can't get through? Oh, I... oh, that was cool. Okay, boss, boss time. That was a fog gate, I guess. Oh yeah, that's a boss. I mentioned this game's aesthetic is super cool, by the way. Okay, so you are the powerful circus puppet who I need to defeat. Raid Master. Cool name. Hello. Look, Robotnik. Okay, it looks like you can actually dodge the red attacks if you're far enough away. The game's a little misleading when it explains you couldn't. I don't have a whole lot of Estus, so I may not be going super well here. <laughs> at least. Even with the dash attack thing you can do, it's still pretty slow. It has quite a lot of health compared to the amount of damage I can do. Ow. Oh, hello. Phase two. That's probably not good. Ow. 
Ow. Oh, damn, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I assume when they say you can't dodge the red attacks, they mean like you don't get iframes from them when you use your dash, but you can still dodge them if you're just far enough away. I wasn't really expecting to win on the first attempt. <laughs> now lying. Yeah, I wake up over here at the last uh, bonfire I used. You die in a boss battle. Death Ogre was created the entrance to the boss area. Oh, cool. That's a thing a lot of non um, FromSoft Soulsborns do. Uh, as far as I know, none of the FromSoft ones do it, but it's a lot more convenient to be able to do that and get your Ogre back. Whereas in, uh, in FromSoft ones, even even in a boss arena, you have to go in and get your stuff back if you want it back. It's kind of pain. Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade, introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. Parade Master has the following functions: sixteen jolly songs, cheerful laughter, and fifty-four parade phrases. Parade dances to delight children. The strength to carry six men on his shoulders. Parade Master was made big in commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. Okay. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't call it all that charming, but, you know, go off. My weapons sharpened up. Uh... Okay, let's give it another shot. I think I did reasonably well with my first attempts. Oh look, it's a fog gate. I like how the subtitles are just like nonsense symbols. the timing down. I'm going a lot worse this time. <laughs> it does look like Sekiro style parrying is an important part of fighting bosses in this game. Give it a practice. <laughs> Maybe worth backtracking and seeing if I can get a bit more a go to level up a little. Um, possibly improving my attack just a little bit. Let me just have a little look here. I assume if I just backtrack and like back into the rest of the area, there'll be more enemies having respawned because I rested at a bonfire, so I'll be able to get a little more by doing that. Around here. Hello. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not huge for beating these generic enemies, but it's something. Like when I do a um, backstab or visceral or whatever you want to call it, it does protect me from other nearby enemies, at least for a little bit, which is good. Gives me some iframes during the animation. It's interesting that a lot of enemies in this game look like they're already dead. They're lying on the ground. Uh, but after you kill them, they, they do it again. They go back to lying on the ground because they've been killed. <laughs> Uh, can be a little misleading. Probably part of the idea. You know, the robot puppet guys. Can we go back this way? It looks like it's blocked off with all these, uh, carriages and things. And there isn't a, like, a regular jump button in this game, like there is an Elden Ring or Sekiro. So I assume parkouring over stuff is not going to be a major part of the game. It is it is a thing you can do in the other ones that have like a run and jump button like this, but it's usually reserved for like trying to get items that are put in weird places and stuff like that, rather than being a key part of how you explore the game world, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna lie, the boss music's pretty fun. Uh, good enough for a level? I'm not sure. Also, I'm not seeing a fast travel option in this menu. Uh, so, it may be that you don't get fast travel from Stargazers, or it may be that you need to unlock that a little bit later. Or it might be that I need Stargazers are a little bit further apart for it to be worth doing. Because these two are like right next to each other, once the shortcut is opened. <laughs> Go fragment. Okay, that should be enough for one level. I guess I'll see what stats they have. If I can up. <clears throat> and then we'll give the boss another shot. I feel like I want to try to beat this boss before the video finishes up, so we'll see how we do. Uh, let me see. Uh, that's not the best pick, even though it is my lowest stat right now. A little bit more stamina and a little bit of physical resist. Capacity. Mm -hmm. A legion and weight by a little bit. Motivity, I think, buff, buffs my attack. I think buffing my attack is probably my best bet at the moment. So, let's put that into... Uh, these two have exactly the same effect. Let's try technique and see how we go. I don't know if you can respec in this game. Uh, in, like, Souls ones after Dark Souls 1, there's like an item, a rare item you can get that lets you reallocate your level ups to different stat points. Uh, I would assume there's something like that in this game. I don't know if it's going to cost a rare item or if they've just made it free. It doesn't really need to cost stat points. It's kind of pointless that it does. <laughs> Is everyone else seeing Robotnik here, by the way? Like, that's Robotnik. of my fable arts there.
this combat does feel a lot like Sekiro, uh, between the deflecting and the way you just sort of whack at him with a sword a couple times after that. <laughs> <laughs> They're clearly uh, inspired by a lot of popular Souls forms. Uh, Sekiro's not exactly a Souls form, but it's similar. Robotnik version 2. Okay, I think he has more range now, which is one of the things that was messing me up. Ow. Ow. Get up, get up, get up. Oh! I backdashed, but he kept following, coming forward at me. sure what my um handle fable art does it might just like increase my defense or something which could be useful you have a little looky loo once i've uh respawned over here there we go uh let me see my fable art storm slash Concentrate. Oh, increases attack temporarily. Oh, 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 that would be useful. Okay, I, I might be doing that. <laughs> doing more damage sounds extremely good. Okay, uh, in we go. That's probably worth doing, yes. He's totally robotic, though. I mean, look at him. Ow. I'm back as much as I thought I could. There's so much damage. So, use some of my electricity. Okay, yeah, slightly more damage. Up to an hour. I really do want to beat this guy before proceeding, though, if I can. Um, let me see. I believe I can get like a ranged weapon onto my belt. Might be a good idea. Let's see. Your ability. Yeah, I, I have a bunch of sawtooth wheels. I can try throwing these. I don't know how much damage they do. I can give it a try. Not much, but it's something.
Oh, okay, you can do that if you're behind him. Phase two. Phase two. Phase two, bestie. Oh. up all my consumables so I can't do it the same way again. Um hmm. I can get a few more a bit more funds by just running around back here and seeing if I can take on the boss again. Okay. Go past it please. Second phase, I just don't really know how to defend against yet. First phase is a lot easier. So the Fable Catalyst might be useful. If I use one of those, I can like spam my Fable art. It might be good. I am finding quite a few of them, so... Should be good. I don't have to talking to that guy. Who is that guy? <laughs> Down here? Not sure. Destination Optical Quad. Optical location for observing the destination. Oh, that's the hotel? Okay. I think it's Germany. See what they did there. <laughs> okay, so the hotel is past the uh circus guy his name already because that's what I do. Uh, but... What to be able to defeat them to get to it? Uh, we have a plunging attack. Fine. Not that it matters everything down here is already gone, but we do have a plunging attack in this game. I can't open that. I'm gonna recharge my key with my little yeah, just uh Can I go down here? I haven't been down here. Hello. Mm. Couple more paper catalysts. Uh 
and that's just blocked off so you can't get through. I can't upgrade my weapons yet as far as I know. I didn't see that option anywhere. Uh, I don't know if upgrading weapons is a thing in this game. It usually is in Soul Spawn, so it might not be in this one. It's not in Sekiro either. No, not exactly. I mean, Sekiro is also not a Soul Spawn, but y you know what I mean. Probably, maybe. I am talking a bit of nonsense. You may not know what I mean. <laughs> uh... Oh, can I kill this guy again to get a few more? This guy's a little trickier to kill. Might uh, be worth a bit more. Try even at the level, but I can move around. Yep. I haven't really tried using um this thing all that much. I don't know if it's good. It does seem to use a lot of um resources to use each time, and I haven't found a way to replenish that yet, so it might be really good. Um. Hmm. Out here alone? Let's see, I can buy... From throwing cells from you. That may be useful. Not too expensive. Uh, I can also buy more weapons from you, but I don't think that's gonna help me too much. Let's try buying some of these. Uh, and we'll equip them, of course. And we'll see if they have an, a decent impact, I suppose? Robotnik. Ow. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Look at that. Okay, round two, round two.
Oh. That's the strat. You throw electricity at him. Woo! Eliminated. Prey leaders ergo and quartz. What about uses the spinning gun puppets different abilities? Interesting. Okay. Oh, I feel good. <laughs> Beating a soulborn boss just always gives you this rush. Oh, yeah. And the other fragment. Oh, hello. Oh, you. It's all crap. The greatest luxury of love experience feels for an unforgettable day. Okay. One more thing I should mention. Hotel security excludes puppets like you, so you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. Okay. Oh, I see. Hotel Crop. There it is. That's the entrance. Um, before I go in... A few pick ups around here. Hidden Moonstone. Moonstone was not from this world, but the most optimal enhancement material. I guess it's a weapon upgrade thing, but it's mysterious and we don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. Um, anything of interest over here? Uh, okay, fragment, nothing fighting. I assume durability will become more important as the fights become more difficult. Because that was basically the first boss. Of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you? Oh, interesting. Uh, human. I'm human. Grand Covenant's fourth floor. A puppet cannot lie. Welcome to Hotel Krat. Okay, so... Oh, my springs are reacting? Okay, so being- so lying seems to, like, hurt me or something? I didn't do any damage, but my springs are reacting. I'm not used to this kind of game having opening credits like this. Like a lot of games do, but Soulsborns usually don't. Extremely cool setting design, by the way.
I'm curious why this wasn't shown before I woke up at the beginning of the game. It's the stuff that just happened before I woke up, right? <laughs> Oh, the disease. That sounds relevant. Now lying. Oh, hello. New character? Or are you Sophia? Freckles. I'm so happy to see you. I am Sophia. I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Croft to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Croft is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. You can level up through Sophia using the Pogo in your possession. Increase your stats when you level up. Okay, so she's the, the level up uh, wife. Kind of a standard thing in the genre. <laughs> uh, let's give that a shot. Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. Gemini is fine. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. Oh, Homeward Bone? This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Moon phase pocket watch. Turns back time to when the boy was in peak condition. Oh, look here. Yeah. Returns these to the last stargazer visited or to the hotel stargazer. So, yeah, it's um, it, it, it's a homeward idol. Again, I can teleport to other stargazers. In the travel dodge you've activated, Scarlet Gazing Arrow is going to prevent we mark the hint. So I do have fast travel now that I've been to Hotel Krat, which appears to be a bit of a hub area. Okay. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I can't actually walk around while talking to people, which is I unusual for this genre. And this is my hotel. Welcome. Oh. I knew from the moment we met the George Petto's puppet. He did have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. If it doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> oh, I forgot. It comes with a long... Please find that old... Someone's memory and show-off clothes. Oh, show-off clothes is a gesture. Okay. I'm not sure if I'll need these. You do sometimes use them to unlock, like, stuff. Uh, there can be things that respond to you doing fun little gestures and things. Uh, I don't know if this game does that, but some of them do, so we'll see. Uh, and I think I got a new outfit as well, so I would like to have a look at that. That's her outfit. Someone's memory. Uniform of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school. These clothes have been worn before. Uniform of a boarding school famous in Krat. The initial M is engraved on an elegant brooch. M. Oh, it's cute. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with that for now. And yeah, it looks like that's completely separate from like what you equip here, which is your actual like stat giving part. So you just look the way you want. <laughs> People have no idea. Thanks for keeping me up. I see you're here. Your lives are a People on the outside are still. I am an old friend. Make yourself at home. If you have any questions. 
I'm curious who M is, but the game won't let me ask. The Venigni Kratz Landmark Guide 1. Hotel Kratz is one of the Crete City's creepiest and most mysterious buildings. According to lore, Hotel Kratz is an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to a form of occultism, using revelation from a radiant tree. One point of use is a mental institution, and some patients say they saw, said they saw hallucination. However, no records remain, as they were all destroyed in a large fire. But the records are the patients. Above all, being so far underground just compounds the rumours. Some say it's even connected to an unknown hell. Am I underground? But now the rumours have served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krat, which has been renovated in the latest style. The recent rumours of the Grand Exhibition Ghost Hotel spread, and more customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Here's a comment from the hotel owner, Ms. Antonia. A ghost hotel? I've heard that more times than I can remember. But fortunately, our hotel we are brave like lions. Not a problem at all. Rating 4 out of 5. Creepy and mysterious, my mystical best resort in Krat. Porto Maduro. Oh, Maduro, M. You might be the one? This guy was made with support of Venig Venigni Company, a friend of the city. Hey. I am enjoying finding files. Uh, that's not really a thing you do in the Souls forms. You do get a lot of lore from item descriptions, but this stuff that's just a description like that is not so common. I can play the piano if I want, apparently. That's always cool. Uh... This place does look very nice. I'm probably going to wrap it up here-ish. I don't want to uh, run up against another boss I can't do anything with. Uh, interesting that it looks like you have to talk to Sophia to level up now, because the Stargazer does not have a level up option anymore. It's just got teleportation. I suppose they wanted you to be able to level up before you fought the tutorial boss. I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person... Oh, you're cute. I like your glasses. Wow. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. A new upgrade or something? You give me. Oh. Hello. Okay, so I can get different prosthetic tools on my arms. Legion Arm is special equipment. It's equipped in the left arm. Each Legion Arm has its own combat ability. Okay. Oh, Puppet String. Oh, it's like a grappling hook? Oh, I can't attack here, so I can't test it. That's an interesting choice. Usually you can attack in the hub, and you can potentially kill people that you need to have alive to progress. Oh, a kitty! <gasps> you bet the cat? Oh, oh, I saddled the cat. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Lick your paw. That's that's the way. <laughs> that's interesting. I can try to use the grinder and fail. Because um I guess my sword's not out. If you oh there we are, now I can do it. Oh, and this is for, like, practicing your attacks. They have a couple of these training dummies. Yeah, Puppet String is like a grappling hook. And it looks like it replenishes its, its little bar as you use it. Maybe only if you don't do anything with it. Great fortune to all visitors. Rest for all travelers. Blessings to all friends. Nice statue. No, if you hit something with it, it still counts. I don't know if you can, like, hang on to them rather than just... I also don't know if you can actually kill these guys. Like, they are taking damage, but I don't know if that's going to do anything. Your health bar is now empty, and it's not doing anything about it. 
as a result, so I assume the train dummy can't actually be killed. Oh yeah, let's see the health regenerates. Okay, cool. Uh, and then this one seems to have like armor on the front, maybe? And it doesn't fight back. So you can't practice the carries, but you can practice some other stuff. I guess. Okay. Um, the thing where you put your sword away as you're going into like the place with people that you're not supposed to be killing is very similar to Sekiro, by the way. Um, there aren't there aren't very many places in the game that make you do that, but when you go into them, it's it's very similar. It's like that. Uh, whereas in uh, Dark Souls and Bloodborne and stuff. You see someone friendly in a hub area, and you can you can still kill them if you want. It's usually not a good idea, but you can do it. <laughs> mm. Um. Another door. Rosa Isabel Street entrance key. Oh, Rosa Isabel Street. That was mentioned as, like, where the puppet frenzy started, I think? Something like that. I don't know if this game has fall damage, by the way. It might. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Hello, what's that? Which Legion arm? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, so... As I get more, um, I guess, prosthetic tools, I can switch between them by using a bonfire. I can't just do it anywhere. Welcome to Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Crot, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Crot. Okay, I can buy stuff from you? Uh, what do you have for sale? To hunt. Uh, just the basic stuff by the looks of things. Legion char- I can recharge my Legion arm. Uh, I can get more pebbles. Just really basic stuff. I assume I can find, uh, like, upgrades to his shop, and then he'll have more stuff. Uh, because typically that's how the hub area shops work in these games. They start with just crap, but as you progress you unlock uh, upgrades that make them sell you more stuff. And purchase items from Polandina in the hotel, I know, I know. Uh... I think I'm probably about done for this video, it's been an hour and a half, and I've cleared the first boss at least, which felt really good. Um, and this game is feeling really good to play, by the way. Um, and I like the design, and I really love the aesthetic, and I'm curious about where the story is going. Uh, my overall impression is this is a really cool game, and I'm having a good time with it. <laughs> I assume this is the first, like, area after the hotel. Oh, it's Elysium Boulevard, you just go this way. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start wrapping up. Uh... Oh, that's awesome. Hey, let's be more careful. Ah, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. But, don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later, when we're safe. Hey, Gemini. Hey, I would pronounce that word Gemini. Uh, I know they're pronouncing it like that on purpose, to make it sound like a certain other word, but... It's a little strange, regardless. Ah, uh, here's a Stargazer. I'll fix it. There you go. Can I level up at this one because it's not near where Sophia is? Or do I have to actually go back to the hub? i go to the hub. I'm Gemini, your friendly puppet guide. Or friendly guide puppet? I don't know, one of those. I'm also a friend of Sophia's. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. 
Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. Cool. Okay, so you can talk to Gemini at bonfires sometimes, in kind of the same way you can talk to Melina in Elden Ring. That's the vibe I get anyway. Hello! Uh, and just like a Dark Souls, the hit that actually killed someone makes an extra noise. It's like a vroom in this game. Uh, it's more of like a sword, flashy sound that's very distinctive in Dark Souls. But yeah, it's helpful to have that because otherwise they can be on a magic pixel and you don't realize. Because the, these games are extremely similar to, to actually in combat. In terms of combat, bleh. in terms of combat, Soulsborns are really similar to fighting games. Uh, a lot of the same terminology applies. It's really interesting. Uh, even though, you know, these are 3D, PvE, world-exploring games rather than one-on-one -on -one, uh, showdowns, there's still a lot of weird overlap. <laughs> oh, look, my, um, Legion isn't filling up now. It must just be a thing that happens in the hub. From themselves, one on the ground there. Hello. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wrap it up at this point. Um, this game's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes from here and playing more of it in general. Uh, and getting more, more nice looking outfits for this cutie pie. Uh, and. I recommend playing it if you enjoy Soulspawns and other difficult games that uh, can be a bit difficult to get into because they're really hard. <laughs> uh, which, you know, I do, which is why I'm enjoying this one. Um, but yeah, if, if this is a genre you enjoy, definitely get into it. If it's not at the moment, then play Elden Ring. Um, and then you, pr you probably get into it, and then you want to play this. Because <laughs> that's what happened to me. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was Lies of P. Uh, it's fun. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> and that's about all I got. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to... Let me put my cursor onto the other screen, please, so I can stop recording. Uh, stop recording. There we go. <laughs>